Hi there and welcome to DevOps Weekly Update, week 06, February 2022. If you are new to this channel, I'll let you know that every week I publish a six to seven minutes video explaining about what happened in the world of DevOps. This will be super helpful for anyone who is attempt to become a DevOps engineer or who is already a DevOps engineer to understand what really happened in the world of DevOps. So let's jump into the video. But right before that, if you are looking to become a DevOps engineer and want to have a free 30 minutes career discussion with me, then feel free to book it via the link mentioned in the description. There is a link for the calendar. You can click on that. You can choose your time and we can have a free career discussion for 30 minutes answering your question. It's a personal discussion. So it is one on one. You can, you can ask me any questions and we'll try to answer it also. Okay. Now, what happened in the world of DevOps? The first news is coming from Argo CD. There was a zero day vulnerability with Argo CD. So what is zero day vulnerability? Meaning they found a bug that is very, very critical. Now, what is Argo CD? It's a continuous deployment tool. Okay, so does it also do CI? That's a question I will leave it for you. So think about it. Argo CD basically is a continuous deployment tool. Many companies use it and they recently found there is a vulnerability which was uh, very dangerous. So it was declared as zero day vulnerability and they have fixed it. So if you are using Argo CD in your company, check it out what happened, what version you are using, which version was affected, etc. The next news is PyOps. It's a beautiful Python package that will help you to delete unused AWS EBS volumes with Python. So many people ask me, why should I learn a programming language? Does it help me? If I learn Python, how can it help me? So here is an example, uh, modules like this that will help you to achieve certain automations in AWS cloud, which can be easily be done using such modules like PyOps. If you are not aware of this, go ahead, check it out. PyOps and also module to delete unused AWS EBS volumes. The third news is coming from, uh, coming from uh, the pillars of DevOps. I have already released this video earlier and you can go ahead and check it out. It's already there and you, if you are interested to understand more about what is happening in the world of DevOps, etc., you can always check out this video and you will find more information. Now, let me also go ahead and share some startup related news. I have already shared it earlier. You can go ahead and check this company called People where they might be hiring. You might find some roles that interest you. Now, let's go to the companies that are hiring. Now, I'm going to share some companies which already you can see on a screen. The link for this uh, job descriptions will be in the description. You can go and check it out, but please do your own due diligence before applying. The first company is Matchmo, that is in India, which is offering a remote opportunity for people in India for senior DevOps engineer. If you are already in the space of DevOps or IT, have more than seven years of experience, then this particular role is good for you. The second is platform engineer, AWS Ways India Remote. I believe this role is suitable for anyone with one to four years of experience. So check it out. If you are new to the world of DevOps at this particular role, that is platform engineer AWS is suitable for you. The third one is a senior DevOps engineer AWS slash Azure. Mobiquity, it's a company in Amsterdam, Northern Holland, Netherlands, basically it's a hybrid model, meaning you have to come to Amsterdam they are offering a relocation package for the right candidate. So they will help you to move from any country you are into Amsterdam. So it is beneficial for you if you're looking to come out of your home country and work in a different environment. Again, the link is in the description. So that's all for this particular video. This is what happened in the world of DevOps. If you have liked this video, don't forget to click on the like button and do subscribe the channel if you are interested to get the weekly update and every week, Fridays, you're going to get this video where I tell what happened in the world of DevOps. Thank you. Speak to you next week. Till then, take care. And